guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be showing you guys the new Bretman X ColourPop collab. They just came out, I think last week. I ordered them as soon as they came out. They finally came in literally about 20 minutes ago, and I just couldn't wait to get my hands on them. I said, let me make a video for you guys and play with them a little bit. I mean, the colors are so gorgeous. You have the lip palette, you have the wet palette. I mean, I'm reading the names on the back of these boxes. They are just so funny. I mean, you can tell a lot of thought and process has gone into these palettes, but these palettes literally define Brett Mint Rock. Like, they go perfect with his personality. So here's the wet palette for you guys. It literally has glam written all over. I mean, look at that shine and that sparkle. It's, it says wet written in silver sparkles all over it with Brett Man X ColourPop on the inside of the packaging as well. I mean, look at this palette. All the blues are so freaking gorgeous. I literally think that this is the best blue eyeshadow palette right now out on the market. I could literally see myself using all of these colors. So again, this is the wet palette. So pretty. And now moving on to the lip palette. The packaging of the lip palette is also so gorgeous. I mean, both these palettes, like I said, they can be used at any time, any season. They literally work with everything. I mean, look at this palette. It's gorgeous and it's gold. It's also like a gold bar. Kind of reminds me of the Willy Wonka bar. I mean, look at that. Look at that glitter. So also with the palettes, I ordered the wet lipstick kit. I thought that these colors were so cute. I love nudes. And these are it. I just thought that the blue lip gloss looked so awesome. So pretty. So I'm gonna swatch them for you real quick so you guys can see. The lippy pencil is BFF3. It's like a brown, beige looking color. And one thing I love about the ColourPop Libby pencils, they glide on so smooth and they stay too, which I really love and it looks so pretty when you blend it. Next, I have the Ultra Satin Lip called She Cute, which he says a lot. So I thought that was really perfect for him. Their Ultra Satin Lip colors are so velvety and smooth. I love this nude color. I think it's so pretty. And plus with the lip liner, I think it'll blend out really nicely. And then next is the gloss called Kumquat. Oh, man, these names. It smells already like, it smells like sugar, like a legit sugar cookie. It's so hard to see on the camera. But like the pigmentation of it and the glitter in it just looks awesome. It has like a blue sparkly iridescent color to it. I think it'll pair very nicely with the satin lip. So I will be showing you a look with both of these palettes for this video. So for the first look I'm going to start with the lip palette. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I already set my eyes by the way uh, with the LA Girl concealer with a little Laura Mercier powder. And now I'm just going to add the shade or whatever on top as a base and I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics eyeshadow flat brush in 24. Next I'm gonna take my e.l.f. eyeshadow blending brush and I'm going to go in with the color Like right here and I'm just gonna work my way up in the upper crease. Tap off the excess What I always like to do just to soften up the eyeshadow so it's more natural looking and not too sharp looking, I like to take my BH Cosmetics V5 eyeshadow blending brush just to softly smooth over it just so it's not so sharp and kind of more blended. Next I'm going to go in with the color Period. Um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use this towards my outer corners and blend my way in. This color is like a burnt orange and I think that it works perfect, especially now for the fall months. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics brush number six. It's the flat blending brush and I'm gonna use the shade Mercy and kind of blend it on my upper lid. So I'm 
gonna go back in with this shade period right here and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line using my BH Cosmetics number no. 9 flat brush. I think this is like the easiest brush just to use to blend down on the line. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on some eyeliner and put on some foundation to complete this look and I'll be right back. So this is what the final look looks like with a little eyeliner, mascara, a full face of foundation and everything. Honestly, I'm not the type of person that normally goes with red eyeshadow, but I'd probably wear this for like Christmas or for like a seasonal type thing. I also really like um, the way everything blended. His palettes are awesome. I really love them so far. So just to complete the look with the lip, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use the Wet Lip Kit only because it's nude and I feel like the nude colors will complement the red because you don't really want to put a dark color with a dark eyeshadow. I feel like it's always one or the other just to make one of them pop. So I'm gonna keep this look matte. I won't use the gloss for this look. I'll probably use it with the blue palette. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my lips with the Rose Gold Elixir by Farsali. I'm gonna take the lip liner in BFF3 and I'm just gonna outline my lips. This is blending really nicely and it just glides on, which I love about ColourPop's lippies. And then I'm just gonna take the satin lip in She Cute. And I'm just gonna put that on. So this is it. This is the final look with the lip palette. And now moving on to the wet palette. So I was able to take off my eyeshadow without messing up my base foundation and my lipstick as well. So I'm really happy about that. So now we're just gonna go back in and we're gonna use the wet palette because I wanted to show you guys a look you can do with this too. So to set my eyeshadow primer and everything, I'm gonna go in with Skinny Legend, which is right there, yeah, right there. It's like a nice nude color that'll just soften the eyeshadow look. So now I'm gonna take my eyeshadow blending brush, same brush as before from BH, five the eyeshadow blending brush and I'm gonna go in with the color I'm um, chilling and I'm just gonna use it to outline my upper lid so I know that when I once I opened this palette I knew I really wanted to try this color right here it's called lol I'm crying so I wanted to just use it to play work my way from the outer corner in and then I'm going to go in with Thickums, this nice silver color that's obviously so hard to get on camera because it's just so iridescent. Look at that. It's really pretty, so I'm excited to use it. So I'm gonna go in my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit because as I said before, a little goes a long way with this eyeshadow palette. So I will use it and work my way towards in. This is such a pretty teal color. I literally feel like a mermaid right now. Like this look is just really pretty. So now I'm gonna take my BH flat brush and I'm going to, like I said, use the silver color that's clearly so hard to see on camera. And I'm going to work my way into my inner corner. Um, wow. It's so hard to see on camera, but if you see up close, like the sparkle this color has is insane. Just gonna take my eyeshadow blending brush and just blend it in just to make that smooth transition. So on the bottom lash line, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work my way in, same from the color I'm chilling, and add the silver right into my bottom eyeliner my bottom liner. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the color Finished right here. It's like this light white blue. And I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna put it right up top here to highlight my brow bone. Wow, that's pretty. And I'm just gonna take my eyeshadow blending brush from BH just to blend it evenly into my crease. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna go put on eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. So this is the final look with the eyeliner and the mascara. I can honestly say that this is probably my favorite palette. I don't wear blues like I've said before and I think that this is just so pretty. I think that the silver and that teal color, which I believe is called LOL I'm Crying, is just so pretty. It's different than anything I've seen before and I think that it really works well with my eyes in particular. I'm just gonna finish off the look. I wanted to show you guys what the lips, lip gloss looks like. Um, it's called Comfort. I told you guys it has that iridescent blue sparkly finish. So I'm just gonna try it on for you guys right here so you guys can see. Um, since I have the lip kit called Wet that goes with the palette, I think it worked perfectly just to apply the lip gloss and then I'm all set. So right off the bat already, I can honestly say I understand why he put the gloss in with this look only because the gloss does complement that silver eyeshadow along with the glitter in the eyeshadow as well. So I have to say that the, the gloss is definitely a good finish for this look. Might I just add that the packaging of this lip kit is just so pretty. It has like this splash look type thing it's so pretty and it also smells like a sugar cookie which is perfect for the holiday season so just wanted to let you guys know that both these palettes run for $12 on ColourPop so both palettes $24 you can't go wrong with that and these colors are very pigmented easy to blend a little goes a long way and they're definitely long lasting as for the lip bundle you can purchase the lipsticks separately and I think they're about $6 each with the lippy being $5 but I bought the bundle for $16 only because I thought that the lippy and then the matte color looked so pretty together and then who can steer away from a blue gloss and it doesn't even look blue on it's clear it's just so iridescent with the glitter is inside I just couldn't pass it so I figured I'd get the lip bundle too. There's also a PR package available for you guys. It, I think it runs for $95 and it's definitely cheaper to get that versus everything else on your own, like in a single form. Um, I must say though, this was definitely worth the price. So I, it's definitely cat recommended, cat approved. And if you guys decide to get both these palettes or any of the lip kits, the blush, anything like that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.